What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So I had a bit of a brain fart just then. Um, so nothing's changed since the last episode. What's happened is I have clicked end turn. So previously, before I hit end turn, I gave a bit of an explanation about what happened. And then the recording froze. So what has happened? Well, we spent most of the last episode saving up to build a navy to fight off the... Russian Navy, which we now have, which is pretty awesome. And we also invaded and took over Cagliari and Naples from the Spanish. So we've expanded our little empire in areas that are already that are already inclined to like us. So I'm I'm thinking about getting rid of why well, what I do want to get rid of this Jesuit college for now. Because I don't need it. Drop this guy into Toronto. How are you doing for roads? Metal roads would be good. What about London, actually? Well, London can get metal roads. Sorry, I didn't mean Naples can have cobble roads. Cagliari can have cobbled roads. Naples can have cobbled roads. You've already got a fishery, which I can repair. But I'd rather build this fellow into a craft workshop to expand our um, expand our industrial base. Russia and Prussia is at war, which is excellent because they're two giant empires, so that will draw their focus. So much so, Russia, will you leave us alone? Damn. And we did build a sixth rate here, renamed after one of the fourth rates that we just lost. Well, this is going to be a quick auto to try to see if we can... I don't want the brig, I just wanted to sink it. I want to sink it to open up the port for trade. So you might go to Santiago de Cuba so I can move my regiment of horse across to the main force. Which could do with a bit of reinforcement really. Let's bring the buccaneers down here, not to join the army, but to garrison the dock. You're about to get cobbled roads. I did knock the my tax policy down a notch to spur growth. To secure wealth growth, really. Okay, so seven turns till... Oh yeah, so this turn we just got explosive shells, so now it's time to pick a new technology. Um, I probably don't want carcass shot. I need to upgrade some of these higher tier industrial buildings, but they're in London. I think I've got to get utilitarianism, even though Tunis won't like it. But they're about to get more repression, which is nice. I'll slowly build up my garrison here as well. And we're still converting them so we should still get a bit of population and rest bonus but yeah right now there's not a lot not a lot we can do everyone i've set i've spent all my money repairing and upgrading fortunately we do have both types of industrial buildings here in london to get both types of tech people in government minus eight it's really not good because i'm an absolute monarchy i can pick Plus one management, plus one justice, plus one treasury. Oh no, this guy's still pretty good. Happy, happiness across the board. Let's hit end turn. So right now, I want to spend a bit of the income we're getting in just doing a bit of underlying economy upgrading, like roads and basic industry. So Russia's got a big problem now. Now they've got... Uh, Oh, Poland's been destroyed. Russia invaded them. You can see it on the map. So there goes one of my former allies turned enemies. It was Poland that actually started the War of Succession. Um, but they were my former ally. So Russia must die. But the problem is, well, the only one I'm not at war with, really, in Europe, the major power is... Prussia, so I'm probably not going to declare war on them either. 
Okay, let's pick up an Iron Master's Works to unlock the next level tech. Yeah, I did repay you. Stop smoking. Um, you, you're getting cobbled roads. So is Li so is um, Naples. Keep upgrading. Iron Workshop would be nice, but instead I'm going to build a trade port. Fix the fishery. Upgrade this fellow to a craft workshop. Upgrade the vineyards. Because do vineyards contribute to food shortages? They do. Or reduction of food shortages. Because we've got a bit of a problem here. And right now we're losing a big chunk of it due to emigration. But that should go away. Industry 6 slash 24 predicted. Okay. Cuba's got cobbled roads. Good. Now you can build... Hmm. You stand off for now. Or can I build another one? Nope. Next turn when I've got this port in a position where I can garrison it, then I will deploy these fellows to Santo Domingo. To expand our colonial empire. Nope, oh, here comes the Spanish Navy. We must not forget, must not, must not forget my need to keep expanding and growing in my navy. We need to balance economic spending with military spending, otherwise we will die. It will be fairly critical to take Caracas in the Americas because that's quite a valuable it was a fairly valuable region but mostly it gives us access to new to actual barracks buildings. I mean do you need cavalry? Do you don't really need a lot of things. Let's pick up the weavers. Let's go over to this fellow. Upgrade you to a dockyard. Let's go over to this chap and pick up a fourth. Just keep I want just to just keep the ball rolling. Don't need the next level industrial building. No, the next level military building yet. Could probably do with upgrading these chaps to a commercial port. Although actually, I kind of didn't do one of the things I meant to do. Hop over to the Americas, pick up a... Probably would be better if I could just recruit. Let's recruit two ships. Sixth rate's a bit much for garrison duty, but. So I'm one. I can't do everything I want to do in one turn, sadly. If I pick up another ship next turn, I'll be able to um, dispatch this army to do something more useful. And can you not recruit? Or do I don't have the money. Ah, I have not upgraded this building to get howitzers. So what have you got? It's a pretty good army, to be fair. Could probably do more cavalry, but I can't get it, and I'm not going to get you any more artillery because you don't really need it. Okay, so the Ottoman Empire is mostly... You mostly have ships there. I probably can't get this army, this navy, out of the med, because I might get intercepted. It's quite an elite, pretty cool looking army, to be fair. Um, okay. 9,400 next turn. Whoa, here comes another French army. 
is to be expected. We don't currently have any way of stopping them. It's tempting to try and strike off. Let them have the Bahamas and go and take New Andalusia. So I have a city that I can recruit a serious amount of troops from. With a bit of upgrading, obviously. it would be amusing to try trade them but the trouble is they may end up going to the leeward islands i don't necessarily want their army over there either crop rotation it's fair enough uh you're starting to run out of suitable things for you to work on probably lime juice and sauerkraut get us the naval hospital that'd be pretty good and reduce upkeep as well. That will be that will be useful. Okay, so a lot of things to upgrade here. A lot of options. So let's get another fourth rate. Probably another admiral's third rate. If I have to start a new navy here, go over to the Bahamas. We're going to lose this port, and that's okay. I could fight to stop them, but why bother if I can do this, embark this army, take Caracas, that will be a better option I think. Get you guys back to Santiago. Upgrade you guys to a dockyard. A lot of fourth rates. This is a good navy. Don't upgrade here just in case I lose it to a surprise attack. Probably upgrade this craft workshop because it's wealthy and near the border with a bunch of good friends. Then upgrade the clearances. Roads. Yeah, Naples is really going to start booming. 8,800 next turn. But I think I really should get this army doing something more useful. So it's more walk them down to Syracuse where I can deposit them off of... Do I land in... Do I land in Madrid? Do I pursue that angle? Potentially. Okay, one more turn to get utilitarianism and everyone gets a bit more unhappy. The French have attacked, so let's just see how many of my two men can do. They did a lot, actually. 622 men. They can't come and boot me out of the port because the pirates are there. So even though they've taken the, that building, they can't actually benefit from it yet. Although I will, with my nascent navy being devoted to the channel, I will raid French shipping. Because it, it's giving us... It's quite a nice income stream. But I do need to make sure I keep expanding my naval capability and keep growing the fleet. I don't want to be in a position where I am behold oh, the problem is I'm expanding my army and my navy quite a lot and if I lose trade then I'm gonna to have to disband a bunch of it and just be set back stay there don't move good pirates so we lost the army in the Bahamas but that's okay see if we can demand a surrender holy hell they gave it to me This general's rubbish. Okay, let's see if I can... I didn't really expect them to give it to me. Well, now we have a embarked position from which to wage war. I was about to say against the French, but the problem is, is that now we're going to... Well, we are going to have to fight down here to knock out 
knock out these fellas. Although it shouldn't be difficult. We're now in an, we are in an entrenched position. Let's put the military governors. I oh know it's a bit risky in Cuba. Let's build up some of our internal capability. That's a really weird way of saying it. But what I mean is spend money on building our tax base in an area that's a bit closer to home. So let's get this army across. Back over to Safaki. Pick up the grenadiers that were a garrison here. It's a lot of infantry. A lot of um Yeah, it's a lot of infantry. Pick up some guns. Because you need them. Actually, if I get one set of guns, I can build... Oh, I can't build a great arsenal if I do that. Um, what's the best thing to do? You're still building, so I don't want to... can't build any ships. Okay, let's repair the third rate. Fix the clearances, I suppose. So we've got utilitarianism. Really not bothered about the carbine techs. Copper bottoms, maybe. I do need to build a classical university. So it might be worth... Well, it might be worth really picking up some garrison troops here, ready, for when I upgrade the university. Yeah, Tunis really isn't the ideal situation, isn't really the best place to do this. The Ottomans have declared on me. I'm going to try to bring them into war, see if Sweden backs me. Sweden doesn't back me, but the Italian states do. I'm probably at war with the Barbary states now. Russia's pu Prussia is pushing into Russia. Russia's blockaded me. But this provides a good opportunity to try and steal more of their ships. Come on, New Spain. <gasps> is is Italy, Italy going to... Oh, I thought Italy might go fight the Russians for me. That would be awesome if they did. So we need to check the Barbary States, see if I'm at war with them. I'm not, because otherwise their border would be red. Yeah, so we make no money when our port is blockaded. But let's pick up our navy. Some good upgrades. We make no money because we have no trade. Let us go. Do I fight them? I think I probably do. Because we know how bad the auto resolve is when it comes to naval battles. Like, I will lose a bunch of ships. Which, obviously, I really, really can't afford to do. Okay, so let's pick up my fourth rate and my war galleons to go ahead of my general. Let's do that properly. Heavy ships ahead of my general. Lightweight ships to the back of the line. Really bad spot. When it comes to deployment or wind direction. So deploy. Let's try to deploy 90 degrees on, I suppose. Something like that. I mean, to be honest, this would be better. I think I might just deploy like that and then sit and wait. See what the Russians do first. Because what we have, what they'd normally do is they. The AI is perfectly happy to just spin around and sail into the wind and be really annoying. I do want to capture this guy. The fourth rate, I want the rest. The fourth of the war galleon would be handy.
don't want to make massive amounts of progress. I want them to a point where they commit, where they, well, where they have to commit to the battle. I don't want them to turn around and go come back this way. See they're doing it again, look. Well, I'm happy to do this, because right now that means the fourth rate's going to get raked by a bunch of our ships. I don't want to move, because their entire formation is sailing at our line, so why would I move? So much so, just ungroup everyone, so I can optimise my firepower. So these two ships firing round shot but fire at will. It's quite a nice crossfire. This guy that's a bit more head on. It's gonna fire war galleon. It's gonna fire chain shot head on into all these lovely masts. Okay now you pivot broadside right. Same with you. Everyone else can just stay where they are, mostly. Let's move these ships along a bit, along the queue, as it were. It's awfully nice of their ships to sail. sail forward to just stop them. Okay, you guys might sail onward a bit to realign with who's coming our way. Fire off another good broadside. These ships can just focus on firing at will into the enemy as applicable. Let's make my ships sail on again. switch to chain shot because you're going to get axed and shot into the mast of this heavy privateer. So I'll just fire the guns now because it's got a good shot. Get all these lighter ships speed up, come round the back. Just keep firing. Broadside left, please. And broadside right. Come on, Ajax. War Galleon's upset. I 
have to fire early so I don't just cut my nose off of that ship. be captured. This fourth rate ship line sinking. Pivot this fellow to try and get some shots into the gleb. Good Krasnoi is routing once more. There goes Ajax. Gleb's lost a mast. Okay, we're gonna fire. Change up into Krasnoi. Nah, you couldn't pivot fast enough. These Russian Navy ships are holding up surprisingly well. Well, this fourth rate isn't. He's going down, Skipper. Come on, left them. Fire broadside into Gleb. So the last enemy ship is Krasnoi. Well, generally. Pour a bunch of fire from Diligent into Krasnoi. Brought her right, she's engaged. You just stay where you are. Because soon Krasnoi will sail into your crosshairs. Granted it will be at range. But you've got guns. Good hits. It's this mess here. Don't worry. You're going to get a taste of a right hand broadside, although it's going to be through a wreck. This fellow's the only one that's left. Okay, let's just speed up time. We're going to continue. Hey, they surrendered. Good. We need to use their ships to replenish the ones we lost. I've only really lost one. Okay, let's take the war galleon. Capture these two enemy vessels. Put into port. And replenish. Although I definitely do want to keep churning out fourth rates. If I can get lime juice and sauerkraut, that gets me naval hospital. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's no navies around here that can contest me. 
they got a whole bunch of trade to, to uh, France, Spain, New Spain, and the Ottoman Empire. So that should be a decent amount of cash. Okay, sweet. Okay, you're on carbines. You shouldn't be on carbines. I'm sure I picked something else. You can get a puddling furnace to increase the wealth from metal working buildings. Granted, we don't have many of them. Let's try one more time. Peace with New Spain. Wasn't going to happen. They got a very good leader. Nope, you stay where you are. It's tempting to send that army that's in Tunis against the Ottomans. But I don't know if I want to get embroiled in a land war with them just yet. It would be easier to knock out a country like Spain. Ideally, they would take Morocco. And Prussia's doing really well against Russia. They've almost cut... Uh, they're pulling a Barbarossa. They've almost cut the country... Or cut the Balkans off completely. Obviously, there's more Russian ships where they came from. Yep, New Spain is probably going to raid me. And be annoying. Port located again, but we're actually making better money. <sighs> They've got a second rate. Well, this navy is not ready. I would like to capture. Hey, Krasnoy! Did we capture Krasnoy or did we sink it? I'm pretty sure we sunk it. Yeah, I don't think I can combine these ships. It was causing us problems last time. Yeah, it's because it's an Admiral's flagship. Or used to be. I suppose. Keep raiding. Got some good upgrades. So I do want my I do want my navy to re to re rebuild itself before attacking them. Granted, I know it's just a fourth. Hey, Gavril. Granted, it's just a fourth um, and a second, but I do want my navy to be in top condition. Let's see. If I march out, I can leave them. I'm going to march into a position where I can engage the new Spaniards in the field. These buccaneers back into Cuba, and let's get some militia to provide a bit of a garrison. Let's hit end turn. The Russian shipyards are doing are on overtime, producing the ships that they are currently producing. The Prussians are gathering a navy in the Med. I hope they don't... Well, they have reinforced that navy. That's exactly what I was saying. I hope I hope didn't happen. New Spain is... falling back. Comes the Greek navy. Hmm. Good, so we've got lime juice, which means we can pick up... Oh, I thought we could. Oh no, I don't have... The wrong shipyard. Not that I have the money to do that. I don't have the money to do either of them. Or upgrade either of them. So what did you get reinforced with? A fifth rate. Although I'm pretty sure I either... Yeah. They're reinforcing ships they've already lost. Are you a major fishery? You are. Good. So we can start to churn out ships from Syracuse as well. 
Right, how much are we going to get next turn? Three grand, but I am going to attack. Even with my sixth rates. But, looking at the timer, it seems like <laughs> uh, we have to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for yet another Russian naval battle. Hopefully, these will end one day. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. <laughs>